Hi, I am Bryson Lam, and I'm currently in Cold Space Rescue U19 First Step. My team ID is SG22503939, and my team name is PHCRFS13. I am currently 15 years old, and I am from Singapore. I was introduced to LEGO Mindstorm EV3 Robotics when I was 9 years old. I participated in more than 10 competitions such as RoboCup, Mindstorm EV3 and MicroBeat. Currently looking to win more awards. My RoboCup experience started when I was in secondary 1, 13 years old. And from then on, I have joined RoboCup First Step. Here are my learning experience throughout the three years in Cospace First Steps. How to do C programming and how to not and not to give up when I face problems when doing C programming and always find ways to solve those problems. What I have gained throughout this when doing this? Firstly, when it was my first time participating in competitions and programs held, this taught me to achieve goals by deadlines. And I was able to work well with others making new friends along the way and others helping me when I am in trouble. Here is a summary of what I have faced during the challenge. Firstly is depositing and picking up colors. Here is an example of my depositing troubles. After after avoiding the trap seen in this video, the bot would just move away and wouldn't move towards the depositing box, despite it being right beside the trap. I found this quite annoying as I wanted it to be wanted the colors to be deposited and earn more points along the way. Well, at first I didn't know what to do, but I remembered my instructor, Mr. Yoni had suggested me a few ways to solve this. If the depositing box is closer to the wall or trap, program the bot to turn more towards the depositing box, as this will allow the bot to move straight into the depositing box. I found this quite amusing, as I didn't learn this before for the first time when I was doing this. Secondly, color sensor problems. It was quite annoying to me as I, whenever I finish programming the bot, the bot will always drive past the colors and doesn't pick up the colors. And whenever the, color, the car goes into the blue zone, it will think that it is cyan and tries to pick it up. This has happened many times and I think this can be improved. Many of my seniors and my instructor taught me to use minimum and maximum value for all the colors. As shown here, the minimum value of black I put as 1 and the maximum value for black I put as 2 as this will help the car to know a range, to have a range of number to know when to pick up black on the floor. And here are some game strategy on mini. When the car has avoided the wall at the beginning, it will move to this area where you can see has many red colors. This will then allow the robot or the bot to pick it up and earn points along the way. This was quite annoying 
as sometimes the robot will try to avoid the wall and move straight into the trap. However, I managed to solve these problems. After picking up braids, he will then avoid the wall shook here and move straight into the blue zone to pick up the black color. The black color will have higher points and hence it is on the blue zone. After collecting the black color, it will avoid the wall and bounce into this circle area where you can see as many different colors. This will allow the bot to collect many different colors and hence earning more points. After collecting, it will avoid the structure or the object here and will move straight into the deposit box. I found this quite fun and amusing as I earned many points along the way. Second, second game strategy on winning. When the bot or the car has collected more than two or three colors, I will, it will tend to move closer to the left and not move straight. As this will have, this will increase the chances of the robot or the car to pick up more colors and have a higher chance for the car to move straight into the deposit box. This not only does this help to pick up colors, but also sometimes avoid the trap. Applying knowledge gain to the real world. Throughout my three years of experience of Cold Space Rescue, I have learned many lessons. Firstly, is to never give up and continue to work on my codings. For example, when I was in secondary school, I have faced many problems, but my instructor, Mr. Yomi, told me not to give up and try to find different solutions to solve it. Second, despite finishing first or finishing coding, I learned to always check all my coding as there might be small mistakes and I could work on them and improve on them. I think this will be quite helpful for me in real life as sometimes things will be difficult and hence I must learn not to give up and continue to work on the problems or difficulties. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you have enjoyed it.